What are we talking about today, Clint? Well, let me what tell you talk because, about? <laughs> because I asked Daniel that exact question yesterday. And guess what? I came up with a brilliant idea. The brilliant idea that I had was to do a little draft talking about who's going to lead the team in touchdowns. So we're going to talk about who has who scored all these points. We're 20, 42 points per game. Who's going to score all those touchdowns? We go back and forth and we do a draft of how good can this offense be and how many points are being scored next. On great Locked idea, on Clint. You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up, everybody? We are back. This is the Longtown Bulldogs podcast. So happy to have you along. Excited that you're here talking about FanDuel Come bringing on. you this episode. If you and need me to play bringing some, you, if you the need greatest to some, episode ever. If you need to play some wagers on things, go back and listen to yesterday's and the day before's episodes. And then log mm. on to FanDuel um, and bet the Florida under. It's under going five and a half. To cash. And the Alabama under while you're at it. It's going. Find a team you hate and bet the under on them. That's a fun thing to do. It is fun. All right. Today, as Clint mentioned, by the way, subscribe to the YouTube, subscribe to the audio podcast. Clint, uh, no, just a genius. Just came up with just a stroke of genius. Thank you. Um, we did this last year, and um, uh, we're gonna do it again this year. Had so much fun doing it last year. I won. Do it for years to come. I won last year, and you won the touchdown draft. I did win the touchdown draft last year, and um, I plan to win it again this year. And so the way this works is uh, quarterbacks are not eligible to be drafted. See, this is a new rule. See, last year. See, I think it's a fair rule because last year only Stetson was not eligible to be drafted. We could do just Carson's not eligible to be drafted. No, I, don't, I don't want quarterbacks drafted. Yeah, I think no quarterbacks drafted is much more fair even playing field yeah i agree um and so we're each going to take uh, we're going to alternate back and forth and um each take our guys and then at the end of the season whoever whoever's team has scored more touchdowns uh that team will be the winner it's quite simple we'll keep you updated as we move throughout the season talking to you all about um uh, and then you can weigh in in the comments as to whose Tell team us- you th- Who's Tell an idiot? Us why my team is better than Clint's team? <clears throat> Ask Daniel how many times he's won the bet. I won the touchdown draft last year, so as you can clearly see, the one-time defending champion. Um, as the one-time defending champion, Clint, um, are we going to do a coin toss? We could do a coin toss, or how do we want to do? Let's do a coin toss. Okay, let's what toss you- a coin. Do, do are you holding a coin? I'm. I'm. Well, <laughs> my phone has a coin. Are we um, trusting this listener? Is this does this seem hey, legitimate to you? Hey, you call it in the air. If it hits something, mm-hmm. doesn't count. Okay, Seinfeld rules. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows that. What do you call Are you in gonna the air? throw your phone in the air? No, I'm not. Uh, tails never fails, Clint. Tails never fails. It is in fact heads. Yeah. <laughs> Clint just googled. Show me a picture of a head <laughs> on a coin, and that's what he got. All right. You're up first, Clint. Now this is going to be this is this is a, a this is easiest choice in the entire world. Yeah, it is. This is Brock Bowers, mm-hmm. <laughs> and and I have him on my team. And you took him. I took him because this just in, he's the best offensive weapon in college football. He's going to be the most complete. People out here saying, well, he's a little mix of Kittle and he's a little mix of Kelsey. No, he's not and a this, mix. No, he's not a mix of anything. No, I think if if you add those two together, it might come close to his talent. You're correct. That's he's going to break all of it. And he said, like, they said, they said he's a little bit more athletic than Kelsey. Just okay. he's like Kyle Pitts. If Kyle Pitts were really, really a lot better, <laughs> that's what he's like. <laughs> if Kyle Pitts knew how to play football. Mm-hmm. And imagine athletic. Imagine Kyle Pitts, but he's a mutant version yeah. of himself. 
Um, yeah, Brock Bowers, I think, is a fine first choice. Now, are we doing snake draft or are we doing alternate picks? No, no, no. Snake, so draft. I get two picks right now. You get two picks, yeah. My first pick is Branson Robinson. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. So you just, you just stab right in the heart. <clears throat> that hurts. Right in the heart. Um, and my second pick is Lad McConkey. I'm That's taking it. Branson Robinson. Right. And I'm taking Lad McConkey. Do I think Lad McConkey is going to lead this team in receiving yards? I do not. Do I think he's going to lead this team in touchdowns from the wide receiver position? I absolutely do. So those are my two picks, and I feel absolutely great about them. I think we've said on this podcast before, um, Branson Robinson needs no defense in my mind. But in case some of you are questioning why that is the running back that I went with, uh, we both believe that Branson Robinson is going to be RB1 on this team by the end of the season. And, um, yes, it's going to be a backfield by committee. Yes, they are going to be riding the hot hand. But there is something that Branson Robinson brings to the table that none of these other backs on the roster, at least not that we've seen proven, that none of them have, which is... The absolute steamroll run through you ability that he has. And if any back is going to emerge as a go to goal line option, Georgia typically does not do that. Georgia typically does not sub in at the goal line. They typically backs get series and they, they do just ride the hot hand, as Del McGee said. But if any back on this team is going to emerge, <laughs> As uh -huh. a goal line threat. Somebody asked TCU's three three five defense what Branson Robinson is going to do down there near the end zone. Um so he's my he's my take. And as I said, Lad McConkey, I believe Lee, this is team in. Uh receiving touchdowns from the wide receiver position. Might get a rushing touchdown as well. Might oh, get a punt return round? touchdown yeah. as well. That end around is happening, mm -hmm. y'all. Um, now I get one more, and then we're gonna go to break because mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna do two each uh, in each segment. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna this is gonna leave a little cliffhanger, and I'm 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 trying. What I'm gonna try to I'm using a little strategery here. Ooh. My second pick is Andrew Paul. <laughs> My second oh wow! Pick is Andrew Paul? Oh wow! Oh, I, wow. Coming look, off coming off the knee. Coming off the knee. All reports I, are, looks good. Looks Took great. some contact on Saturday. Excited about that. Didn't stop him. Um, you're all in on this kid? I'm all in on this kid, Daniel. I'm all in on Branson. Branson, that, that, that pick stabbed me in the heart. Maybe this is a little emotional reaction to that, Daniel. Yeah. I got you on tilt already. I got, I got you on tilt already. I got Brock, and then I my eyes started welling uh -huh. because I don't have Branson. Um, I'm gonna take Andrew Paul. I think I think this kid is going to light up this year. That's I, th a, I think that's the entire a, this is a fascinating pick. This is what's beautiful about the touchdown draw. You're learning a lot about what Clint thinks about this team right now. And I'm gonna leave you at that cliffhanger because I don't have a wide receiver yet. <gasps> but he's probably about to yeah. go get one. I'm about to go get one. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about these. And these are, in fact, FanDuel. Oh. Daniel, do you understand what this means? FanDuel is the best sports book out there. They're the official sports book of Locked On Podcast, the official sports book of Locked On Bulldogs, the official sports book of Daniel and I winning money each and every year betting on college football. Do you understand what I'm saying? Permission to, to speak you? freely, Clint. You may. Today is um, Thursday. Say more. One week mm -hmm. from this day. From right now. We will be... On a podcast. Mm -hmm. Saying what? Giving out locks, Clint. Locks. It'll be locks. The week zero locks. We're going to throw in some UMass season win New totals. Mexico into State plays. We're, we're, you're going to be getting locks from Notre Dame Navy. Ooh. You're going to be getting locks from Vandy, Hawaii. There's going to be... I am very tempted to go to that Vandy, Hawaii game, Clint. You're going to have to maybe talk me out of it. What? Because I, I ain't talking you out of that. I, I may, that. I may 
paint my chest, anchor down, and go to that Vandy Hawaii game. Um, <laughs> locks are coming, and FanDuel is the place to go. Football season about to kick off. FanDuel is giving you the chance to win all season long because right now you can bet on the Super Bowl winner. You can get free bonus bets every time they win the regular season. You choose the Rams to win the Super Bowl because Setson Bennett is the greatest quarterback of all time, and you Debate win. Debate a wall. <laughs> I don't care. Come at me. Uh, just pick any team to win the Super Bowl and you'll get a bonus bet for every victory. You can use bonus bets on spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on. Start earning bonus bets with America's number one sportsbook. That's FanDuel.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. Okay. Man doesn't even have a single wide receiver out here on his roster, but he does have Brock Bowers and Andrew Paul. Ooh. It feels, and you know what? It feels good. Now, this is very interesting. Um, Daniel, the two wide receivers that I have. Now, there, there's a lot of wide receiver talent on this team. Oh, so, oh is that a fact? Well, lots. Meeks I can't, I can't hardly think of any. Is a dude. Aaron mm -hmm. Smith, dude. Mm -hmm. Rosemead, dude. Mm -hmm. But what else I going to tell you that there's two transfers coming in to Georgia because they said, hey, that Kirby smart guy knows how to get players into the league mm -hmm. and where I'm at can't. And so I want to get into the league and I want to play on an offense that's prolific for wide receivers. They said, I used to live in Missouri and Mississippi respectively. Wow. And now I live in Athens, Georgia. Um, so look, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I, they're not going to lead this team in, in, in touchdowns. You said Lad McConkey is going to get touchdowns. Lad last year with seven touchdowns. And it really comes down to me. I, I think Lovett is going to have more touchdowns than mm -hmm. Lad. Give me Lovett as my my wide receiver one. It's it's a good pick. It's who I thought you would pick. I think Dominic Lovett is the most likely candidate to lead this team in receiving yards. I think so as well. Um, yeah. And I do think it could come with a significant amount of touchdowns as well. All right. It's I kind interesting. Of for, I, I kind of put you in a little. I, I put it's you interesting here, now what to do. It's yeah, interesting now which way that I should go. Um, a little strategy, like I said. Mm -hmm. It is because I think, I think, Clint. What do you think? You might be trying to bait me into this, and if you are, kudos to you because I'm falling for it. But I think if you're trying to bait me into this, shame on you because you're a fool. Because this is the this is the right play. You mentioned how much wide receiver talent there was on this team, and I couldn't agree with you more. And I feel confident in the wide receivers that I'm going to get later. <laughs> right now. Right now, what I'm going to do depth. is I'm going to take Kendall Milton yep. because yeah, he he's still there. He is. And he's the most talented runner on this team. There is no debate of that. And when he's healthy, he's special. Now, we need him to get healthy, folks. Because we need... right now, let me, let me say, he's currently not. We need him to get healthy, folks. That's okay. what we need. Okay. We need him uh -huh. to be healthier okay. than he is. Currently. Right now. Okay. Uh-huh. So I got two injured running backs on my you team. Do. And you got a guy coming off an ACL. We're feeling fine. It's not great. Um, nobody's taking cash yet. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna take Kendall though, yeah. because I trust him. I believe in him over a fifteen game schedule. I think the touchdowns are gonna be there. I'm also gonna take Oscar Delt. Ooh, because I think Oscar go. Delp is going to, I don't think he's going to make it back to me. And I think he wouldn't have. And I think he's going to get more than Darnell's share of touchdowns. I think it's a great, that's a great way of putting it. I think the, the attention that Brock Bowers draws, and this is not a point we've really discussed on the pod before. I think the attention that Brock Bowers draws, for whatever reason, because they were such different players, mm -hmm. did not really do a lot to free up, quote unquote, free up Darnell Washington as yeah. much as the casual fan might have assumed that it would. 
But I don't think that's going to be the case for Oscar Delp because the skill set for Oscar Delp is so radically different than so Darnell different. Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned the fear, or at least I did um, last week or the week before or something. One of the big fears for me of this team is the inline blocking ability of the tight ends. I think there's it's there's no way to replace Darnell in that aspect of the game, but I do think that's something that Oscar needs to uh, work on. Uh, Todd Hartley said the same thing. He mentioned that specifically as something that Oscar needs to work on. But I I think the receiving threat and the way that he can exploit the middle of the defense. You just don't get that many safeties on the field at one time, Clint. And so when you the don't. safeties run towards Brock, which they're going to do because they're not every idiots. play. Yeah. The the other half of the middle of the field is going to be what's the word? Wide open That's as it. a middle linebacker is trying to run. And <laughs> Clint, their middle linebackers middle, aren't our middle linebackers. Middle linebacker. Henry Toto Toto esque is trying to run with what Oscar Delp. What was that cat from TCU out here running oh, his gums, flapping his gums? Yeah. And I'm like, they don't see, they don't know linebackers like we do. Oh, oh really? Okay. Neck roll? Yeah, that's okay. that's cute. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna take Oscar Delp. I think I think Oscar Delp's gonna have. That's, I like this. I think he could be third on the team in touchdowns this year, and I got him. And I got him with my fourth pick. I have the two best value picks of this entire draft. Daniel. Oh, wow. I'm going to take the only healthy running back we have right now. Yeah, that's, I mean, Dejan Edwards is a great value pick. Like he's, <laughs> I get Dejan Edwards. He had, he had seven touchdowns last year. Same as Latin. Mm -hmm. You telling me, you telling me the Kirby death march ain't going to be a thing in the second quarter of games. You're wrong. No, I think absolutely Dejan Edwards is great. I debated taking him over Kendall. I think it's, I think he's I think he's an absolutely fantastic pick. You have another pick, which we're gonna get to right after this. I intimated, Daniel. I intimated that I have the best value. Quick review of the team so far for the one ninety nine. Let's pause hey. here. Hey. Clint's team as it as it appears, is Brock Bowers, mm. and well, you tell them who your team is, Clint. I don't even Brock, remember. Andrew Paul. Second Love round, it. second pick. Fantastic mm. second mm. round pick. Mm -hmm. Love it. And Dejon Edwards. These are my four so far. Those are your four. I am riding with Lad McConkey, Branson Robinson, uh, Oscar Delp, and Kendall Milton. That's a that's a very a lot balanced of touchdowns group. going to be scored by those eight gentlemen. <laughs> this mm. lot of touchdowns. And let me just say this: one of us is going to win this bet, but we're all going to be winners. We are all happens. winning right now. Do you we're understand what we're saying? We're going to be winners. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, that's the four. We, we each have, got two picks left. We got two picks left. So this is my last pick. Daniel has two, and then I'm I am. And I'm then just you're closing it out. Closing it out. After the best value in Dejon Edwards, the, the healthiest running back, the most workhorse, the guy who shuts up and goes to work every single day. Uh, I'm going to take the other starting wide receiver, and that's Ra Ra. I got, mm. love it. I got Ra Ra. You got them both. I got Brock Bowers. I got three starting receivers on this team. And yes, I did just refer to Brock Bowers as a receiver because he's both. He's a inline blocker, tight sure. end, of H course. running back, quarterback, whatever you want him to be. He is it. He just scores touchdown. I got two running backs, and now uh, I'm taking Ra Ra with my fifth pick, Daniel. Yeah, I mean, it's. I didn't volume. know who you I'm would go with. Volume. I didn't know who you who you would go with, but I don't. I don't hate the pick. Um, with my with my next selection, your fifth out of out of the six. My you got fifth two out of six. Back. I'm taking Marcus Roseme. I'm taking Rosemary Jack Saint. I really do think Marcus Rosemary Jack Saint offers something that the the other wide receivers on this team don't. And that is prototypical length, 
height and ability to go up and high point a football. And I also think something about the style, the the ability to fit it into windows, the ability to maybe throw people open that Carson Beck has, I think Roseme could could benefit from that. I think there's a chance that we could see another step forward from him. Now, do I expect him to necessarily lead in any statistical categories? No, I don't. Um, my good friend, Colin, your this, friend, Colin, mm. is screaming at He's, his listening device. He has thrown off the headphones. <laughs> He's... He's he he's he enraged. Has grown a flock of seagulls haircut. He is in, just so he can weep enraged. in a corner by himself. He um is somewhere call, punching a wall just over and over. He's, he's a big kid too. That wall is going. No, down. absolutely. You would not want to be that wall right now. No. Um, Colin, you can rest easy because here I am, and I'm going to take Arian Smith with my there last pick. There's a chance. Hear me, please, Georgia fans. Hear me. You about There's to say a what chance. Colin said. It's a non-zero chance. There's a non-zero chance that Arian Smith has zero touchdowns this year. <laughs> like none. <laughs> now, to be fair, there's also a non-zero chance that Andrew Paul has zero touchdowns, and that was Clint's second pick. Yep. <laughs> so. I think everyone else we've drafted is definitely going to get a touchdown this year. Yes. But there's also a chance. It's not a 0% chance. There's a chance that Arian Smith leads this team in receiving touchdowns this year. And I didn't say the wide receiving core. No. I said the team, the team. in receiving touchdowns this year. With my sixth pick, the upside on a guy like Arian Smith to go over the top, he doesn't need a lot of catches to get a lot of tuds. If he were to score four touchdowns and have four catches all all season long, you'd be like, yep. That'd be great for me. That checks. That'd be great for me. So Marcus Roseman, Jack Saint, and Arian Smith, um, that's going to round out my roster. And I turn it back over to you, Clay. Okay, now this is... We're getting kind of ridiculous. At I know this point. who now, I would take oh, with this pick, and so I will let what, you make your what, selection. No, why, don't, then, why don't you? I, I think I have my guy, Daniel. Pontificate, if you will. But who who would be your selection? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that, Clint. I'll tell you after you make your selection. This is ridiculous, Daniel. Well, this was your idea. Keep in mind. <laughs> I did. You know what? I did have this entire idea. Mm-hmm. So that's good. I'm glad. Uh, I've won the bet. Uh, Four years in a row. Well, not the touchdown draft, which is what no, we're talking no. about today, Clint. You keep getting off subject. I can't help but do so, Daniel. Um, I bet you don't win it by more than 10 this year. <laughs> <laughs> Margin of error is... <laughs> Razor thin. <laughs> Razor thin. Okay, there, here, here's a couple of very interesting. Uh, Morissette, ultra-talented wide receiver. He's he's in consideration. Cole Spear. In consideration. CJ Smith, remember his you talk about speedster. Talk about a guy. If yep. you're talking to Arian Smith, there's there's a chance he has zero touchdowns. CJ Smith, tell me there's not a better chance he has some sort of touchdown. He's gonna I, get a touch. He's gonna get Maybe a touch. Maybe it won't be down, it, but he might get a touch. Okay. I think I think I have to go Dylan Bell. As my yeah, Dylan pick. Bell's the guy. It's the only pick that makes sense. He's very talented, uh, sophomore kid. Hasn't been buried on the depth chart. Has some chance to spill in, in some packages and get on the field. Uh, it's Dylan Bell is my final selection, Daniel. And because the wide receiver group is, is going to score some points and some touch this year, uh, he's u- ultra talented on that side of the ball. I thought Dylan Bell was going to be the dude. Like I really thought Dylan Bell was going to emerge as he kind of trailed off there towards the end of last season he did but i really think dylan bell is a great selection i thought about taking him over arian smith i think he's a safer pick than arian smith colin cover your ears um colin weep 
the the only other guy that you could could consider there. Let us know in the comments if you think there's others. People are legitimately going to comment and say Cash Jones, just so you know. Clint. Just that is legitimately going to happen. No, I, I know. But I know. Roderick Robinson is the, is the only other yeah. guy that you you could consider there. I do think he's going to get touches. He's I do think touches. he's a candidate for a death march guy. Like Roderick oh, Robinson sure. is a definite candidate for we're up 40 against Vanderbilt, and he plays the entire fourth quarter and rushes for 120 yards and has one touchdown. Like that – that's a legitimate possibility. I see nothing wrong with that. Um, uh, I don't hate it. Though. This has been Locked On Bulldogs, part of Locked On Podcast Network. Uh, Daniel, these picks, these touchdowns, they're in. We've locked them up. We're going to be tracking them all season long. So we'll be tracking. We'll, we'll be keeping you updates. updated. Let us know in the comments who has the better team, who we should have taken, and in what order we should have taken them. And we will read those comments and just keep doing the same things we always do when we read your comments which is which is nothing nothing different all right we will be back we got more to talk about about this team and we will see you guys then see ya